Don't complain at me for not mining. This is the only mining ship that has mined anything at all this session. Yes. This mining ship does look really quite overspecced. Do not right click drill it and then complain that there's no <laughs> steel plates or anything else that uses iron motors, for instance. Oh, uh, that's that's a bit bad. What Who was, was that? that? Oh, you're also oh, going a bit fast. You're crushing, you're crushing. Uh, you know, Rev's mining ship would be ideal for doing this floor business. I mean, my ship is here. Look, it's 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 well, working. Could it be here, uh, leveling off this floor? I, I I'm just going down and taking a video of my ship taking a crap. Oh, I see. With all that, um, with all that stone on board, I was up to 900 tons. No surprise that I can't lift it half without half my custom. Well, but why did you bring the stone back? The point of having the I ejectors did... is to drop the stone as you go along. I thought that I was doing that, but I obviously had no. not switched them on. Oh, well. Let's have a look outside. Oh shit! I do not have the lift to stop this. Yeah, that's what I found too. Oh man, I just overmined too much. Well, when we've got some nickel. <laughs> well, we, well, I brought back nickel. I guess I've built my two giant thrusters again. But for now, I'm going to leave my ship where it is mm -hmm. as a monument to. um. Stupidity? Well, it's called Arthur Scargo, so. <laughs> I think we I've turned the my ship now into a sideways miner. This is what's happened. Uh I have you flipped it? it well, not not really. I think my heavy ore detector has flipped it. You see I'm trying to write my mining ship. Yeah. Would you like to someone like to get in the mining ship, turn it on and attempt to get the right way up when I release uh, it? Uh, if I can find the cockpit. It's at the front of the ship where the cockpit is. It's not the opposite oh, the, end of the okay. detector. Right, okay. Why did Most you turn it off? Because it was flying into the Duke Duke very slowly. I didn't want to destroy the Duke Duke too much. Uh, hold on, I don't have power. You press Y to turn power on. Yes, I am, but it, there's still no power. Uh... Right, can you turn it on with Y? I, I don't want to, though, because what if it decides to start flying when the Trinity port is attached to it. If you turn the dampeners off, it won't start flying. Hmm. Dampeners are off. Grid power is on. You are sinking a bit. I know, I, that's why I just turned it off again. Oh. That, 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 that's I mean, why I should, wanted to... This is a two-person operation. Can you not lift yourself with this? Can I lift myself with As it? In, no, with it's on its side. side. It's on its side. Yeah. If I I've, disconnect I've added... the landing gear, will you be fine? That's what I'm asking. Uh, no, because I've just added one side thruster to it. I can add, let's add another side thruster, maybe, and then we'll then we'll be fine, I guess. Uh, you don't really have much clearance. Do you want me to get in the Trinity Porter and lift your bits? Uh, no, that's what I was doing. That, that's exactly right. But you, there is something wrong with your ship. I cannot do anything in it. Hang on. Well, hang on. If I no. Oh, oh, Trinity Porter is having a bit of difficulty. Oh, that, uh, that's a bit scary. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Do not crash into Ed's ship. Yeah, do you want to come <laughs> and uh, help me uh, <laughs> build that thruster a bit more? Anyone want to help me build the, well, the missing thruster? I can't thruster? even, like, keep up with it. You're just going further and further away. Oh, you look see what's going happened. now. No, 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 you're off again. You were fine as you were. I wasn't fine, I was lying on my side on the ground. Well, that's better than what you're doing now. Okay, hang on. Nope. <laughs> well, that didn't oh. go well. It's rolling, I think, down the hill, but I'm not too sure because the... Uh... Anyone I see it? I can't even see it because the beacon's no, the off. Yeah, I can see off. it. I'm on it. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> okay, it's stopped. Uh... This sideways thruster is uh, not very built. But can you turn it on now and roll it over with its gyro? Ooh, because it, it wasn't doing that. Now. I can try again if you like. 
Where is it? Where are you? I mean, look at my beacon. I'm 132 so and a half When you press Y, nothing happens, you're saying? Yeah. But yeah, can you use your gyro to roll it over? Well... Do you have a gyro? Yeah, I have two gyros, yes. Okay, well... The, the rolling is not really happening, is it? Is that rolling? It's not moving at all. Is that rolling? Uh, no. no. What happens if you press D? Can you get any height? Uh, no, because I, it's it's not got the thrust for that, has it? You're welcome to have a go with that. I mean, I would suggest... Oh, the grid power is on now. Can I even control it, though? There you go. There you go. You can't, oh, yeah, you're, not moving. you're firing the one thruster. Well done. Yeah, you don't seem to have enough gyro. Two gyros? If you turn up the power on them, they should be good, shouldn't they? What, they're not at full power? No, they are at full power. They're 100%. I thought you can go more than 100%, can't you, on a... No, that's what giant. makes it 100%. Sure. Sure. Yeah, give it your 100, 110% and so on. Have I put these engines on the wrong way up? You know, I think I have. Uh, you, indeed you have. Oh, well. The uh, components have dropped to the ground, so... Uh. That... Are you... Are you... Are you going to try and piston it, or...? Uh... No, I was thinking you were going to try and piston it. Oh, well, I think I'll wait for daylight and uh, and do it then. But not piston it. I, th I, I quite like portering it, personally. I love it when a ship comes together. And then flies apart. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't necessarily love that part. That just part just seems to be a. Um, a uh, we we part. love that part. Mm. Oh, I'm, so what you're saying is that I'm doing it for the fans? Yeah. Okay, so now that we have a drilling ship, could we perhaps do some drilling? I, I need to get. I, I need to get the dwarf out of the hole it's stuck in. I uh, sort of went to pluck it last time, and it got a bit stuck. I might be able to do that. I might be able to Trinity port to you, but we're using uh, the yeah. uh, the Heliphant. Oh. The new, the, are you saying the new that one. Trinity Porter has been superseded? Well, not really. I think the Trinity Porter has more lifting capacity. Uh, I just want to get rid of my drills first. Oh, bollocks. What? <laughs> what happened? Uh, it didn't sound good. I exploded something. I don't even know why I exploded there. Oh, that actually is a bit worrying. What exploded? I, I, I hit the corner know. of my drill wig while I was turning around. Uh, like it. W There's some pieces on the know. floor. There's a gyro what and a spotlight. Uh. What? Oh, yeah. Where no, are you? Ah, oh, no, I blew up a battery, a gyro, and a spotlight. Okay, the, the, how oh. did you manage that? Well, I bonked the corner of my drill rig while I was turning around after dropping off the drill rig. Uh, okay. Ah, thank are you for you... fixing my ship, RCX. Uh, I am a bit short of power now. In fact, I might try and remedy this before I try and pick up Mike's ship. Yeah. So how are we actually going? Do we actually want to build this um, thing? By the way, are we going to sort of? At what point are we going to put the entry point? Is it sort of going to be around where the red dwarf is? Well, that's why we're digging there. Yeah. <laughs> Sense. We're not going to dig a hole through the wall and then not put the entry point there, are we? Okay, that's better. I have a battery again. I might want to put a bit more armor around this thing. Uh, you still have a bunch of uh, um, iron ore in this um, ship, by the way. In Who's what chip? The uh, giant miner. Well, let's see if I can get into the air. That's curious. I'm not. I don't feel like I'm locked to anything, but I'm also not going up. Uh, you are not locked to anything. Oh, I'm well. at all. Oh, that's... You have turned your landing gear off, by the way, which is probably not something you ever want to do. Uh, I might be slightly toasting the Red Dwarf with my thrusters. That what you want is the switch lock button control, not I, the I, I believe control. I do have the switch lock control. No, you have on off. Uh, looks I have fine. Both. Um, it is now rolling downhill. Uh, yeah, that's your problem. Indeed. Yeah. Why is the why is the handbrake not working? Good question. I 
So I've, I've switched the landing gear on using the um, using the toggle uh, block. Could somebody gonna... rescue Suzz's thing? Because that's also now rolling down the hill. Oh god. <laughs> uh, and it's only got three wheels. Give me a moment. But I did carefully position it so it won't hit anything. Okay, what is going on? Why is the red dwarf not driving? Um, is it because the handbrake is on? Uh, no, I turned um, the handbrake I, off. Uh, I cannot uh, easily rescue it at the moment because um, so this can't is not catch it. Oh, I can't oh. switch the campers <laughs> on. Oh. Uh, I, sure? Yeah, I, ca I, I cannot. I cannot drive this car. What is going on? Ah, we know we that, go. Mike. That, that sounds that perfectly feature, normal to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, damp is on. Thrust is on. Connector unlocked. At least the dust storm has stopped. For now. Time to go and rescue my vehicles. Uh, oh, what? there's another driller ship over here. This is the one with a large grid um, ore detector on it. Ah, uh, that's uh, you mean the bumblebee. Uh, okay, I, I can't tell you that it's called the Bumblebee because it has no beacon. Oh god, just the placement of this um, ore detector in between the two thrusters just well, didn't, didn't gives me the fear. We discussed this last time. It didn't clang us once we took off, so we were happy. Remember? Oh, says person. the guy who crashed his ship. No, I, I I crashed it because it was top heavy. If you check the center mass, how nice you fixed the hole, and you've ceased the drilling operation in the hole. I see. Great. Yeah, RCX. That the, the, your mine. Would you like to? Uh, you're still dropping stone everywhere, Ed. You're also crashing into the ground. Oh, ow. Ow. What was, uh, very, very rough so you know you've what? lost some thrusters and your landing gear and possibly you know, your connectors. You know what? I think that this ship under which I may have just accidentally buried myself. Excellent work. No, no, no. <laughs> the pro uh, the, this ship it, runs out of run power, power in like one second. Yes, uh, your batteries are most assuredly depleted, and I don't believe they are on. They could. Uh, are any of them on recharge? I think they are. I am. Auto, auto. To buy, uh, what do you mean by are any of them on recharge? <laughs> this explains a lot. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't because it wasn't the case. The, the issue is simply that this um, vehicle is far too ridiculously huge to actually be of any use. Uh, I mean, you've got enough. Ba you've got a lot of batteries. I suspect the problem was it was not charged. Ah. Another few thousand motors gone in this. Oh, I'll tell you what, wow. I'll start drilling in the elephant again, because I think that's the only way we're going to get an actual hole. What is going on with this lighting? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a bit odd, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like... Okay, I'm pretty sure it's the sunrise just awkwardly calculated. Those awkward sunrises. <laughs> yep, it is an awkward sunrise. Oh, wow, it is super... Whoa, what is happening? I'm um, parked in quite a weird place, Mr. Heaney. I, I, I like your choice of the word parked there. <laughs> well, you, yeah, you are parked, aren't you? Um, I'm, I'm out of power. It's perhaps closer to the... Yeah, uh, you're parked. An involuntary parking. <laughs> <laughs> At great speed. I like involuntary parking. <laughs> yeah, that's a good phrase, I like that. There is also, like, a quite useful capability, which is right-click drilling. Yeah, but um, I was trying. I, I was considering trying to pick up, um, pick up any nice stuff that I encountered. However, yeah. I am willing. To... There is iron there. There is iron. That's true. I also would suggest that if you build a gigantic mining ship and it can't left-click mine, you have perhaps <laughs> not done a good job. <laughs> yeah. It can left-click mine if it can mine at all. But it can't mine at all. This is the usual logical trick. <laughs> if fools, <laughs> if fools, yes. So if it were to have some power, then it would be it able to mine. So 
as and I'm when. If, if my ship crashes, I can just blame Clatton, can't I? As in the Klingon governor? Indeed. Is That's what everyone else there? does. Okay, I don't know what is going on here. These warheads are not exploding. What are you warheading, Mike? I'm still trying to build my um, builder missile, but the warhead is not exploding when I build it. Yes, like the war is grateful for small birds. The warhead is getting damaged, but it's not exploding. <laughs> Indeed, it's like it the warhead. Yeah, speed, then perhaps it will explode. But uh... yeah, yeah, the warhead is clearly not exploding, and I don't know why. Um, Dan, can you help with debugging this? Because I have no idea what's going on. Uh, not right now. Because if I don't drill out this hole, nobody's going to. Okay, yes. I mean, true. I understand. <laughs> Dan, uh, uh, I'm. Kind of sketching in a framework of like you know. Okay, can you make sure dive. the framework is the correct size for the Zorro to drive in and out of? Um, I maybe um that requires some measurements, but it should be it should be gravity aligned and otherwise like sensible, which is the primary thing I was thinking about at the moment because it you know. Yes, I it, agree. It was not very flat. Uh, the uh, airlift operation has commenced over here. <laughs> what are you airlifting? The bumblebee. Where is your builder missile, Mike? I can have a look at it. Really? Um, I just died on a piece of stone. I tried crashing it because that's how it's supposed to explode, but it didn't. Basically, I tried yeah. crashing it, but it doesn't. Well, I mean, it's meant to explode, right? That's the idea. It's meant to be a missile. Missiles, you crash them into things and they so, blow up. Hang on, so Mike, so the vehicle that you meant to be a robust defensive vehicle continue, kept exploding and the vehicle <laughs> <you want to laughs> will not explode yes law of un unintended this is device. one of those if you try to fail and you succeed what have you done uh, <laughs> uh, is the warhead meant to be on the front here i was but okay. it got I mean, it's not it because up, it blew it. up ah. yeah it, 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 it got destroyed but without blowing up that's the problem uh, like, as you could probably tell from the fact that the rest of the ship is still intact. It's fine. I think it's fine in terms of moving. It, it flies around fine. The problem is it doesn't blow up when I crash it. So you've got problem the arm warhead on off, off, and then you've got the death. <laughs> yeah, mate. unlike most of your ships. <laughs> yes, yeah. I mean, quick, quick, stop turning it into a warhead. Quickly build a vehicle around this warhead given it's the uh, most robust thing you've built so far. <laughs> <laughs> we all love a good dust storm, don't we? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oops. Burn. Okay, so uh, other things my missile can do is kill me by flying into it. <laughs> that so like that is, that's more successful than it was before? <laughs> well, it kills someone. Yeah. Chalk that up as a win, why not? So, Doug Chan, you are in some way templating the base, you said? Yeah, I mean, I just stuck a bunch of um, light armor block, like, you know, um, stuff. But, but feel free to ignore it and do our own thing if we want to. Uh, well, it <laughs> depends on exactly what the nature of you doing your own thing is. Yeah, let me just try it with a warhead on its own here, right? Yeah, okay. Let me do arm it. How are you going to, like, you just going to shoot it, okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that explodes. That, that, that made a big bubble. And that clearly was bigger than what happened to my ship. Um, let's just stick it on a stick. Did you say we should take that and stick it? Oh, well, stick it on a stick, yes. We heard you like sticks, so we stuck some sticks on your stick. Uh, okay, so give me one moment. So that is armed. And then if it takes the excess. What are you doing? Actually, we can't. I can't you're actually. Uh... You're mumbling. <laughs> Nobody can hear what you're saying. Oh dear. I, I'm enjoying it though. Oh. Uh, ah. Okay. There you go. Mm. Yeah, I turned the, the thrusters off. Yes. This this true. seems like a very dangerous experiment. Um. Indeed. It also <laughs> appears to be running away. Yes. Okay. So how can we damage it so that it blows to? test if it blows up. Well, the question is, like, we want to, like, simulate it running into something, right? Yeah. I uh, don't... Oh! Okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that worked. That worked. Yes.
Oh. No one saw that, so it didn't happen. <laughs> <They're okay. laughs> uh. Very good. My only okay, suggestion so... I can think of is make sure that the warhead is the first thing that touches it. As yeah. To it, it may be it that it doesn't happen. work if it's behind something, yeah. Yeah. Air density on Mars. What about the air density on Mars? What is it? Uh, very low. <laughs> is the answer. Oh, come on, Mike. You could at least have gone with it's the ratio, ratio of the weight to the volume of the air, but that's not important right now. Well, indeed. <laughs> but it is important right now. Yeah. <laughs> that just makes it better. Is this, like, uh, random uh, landing gear and other stuff? Something at the, meant to be something at the moment. Blow it up. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, do whatever you want. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to leave it out there. I'm sorry. I had, like, it's not a, like, <laughs> you also left Kevin Bacon, Bacon down, out all night. It? I, I did leave Kevin Bacon out all night as well. I am sorry to the Kevin Bacon. Is this battery empty? I He's think very well connected, you know. You'll never be... <laughs> well, he wasn't. That's the problem. Yep. Uh, team Kevin will never forgive you. Hashtag Team Kevin. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I made an attempt to use it and failed quite badly. What that, the hashtag of Team Kevin? That is entirely mine, Strict Kevin Bacon's fault, not yours, mate. Um, I, I think that's only partially true. <laughs> I, I think I was also I think I was not the most competent at using it either. <gasps> um shock. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who are you and what have you done with Mike? Right. Right? What should I be doing at the moment? I feel like I actually have an opportunity to build to build something, but I'm not sure what I should uh, build. Well have you counted the size of the framework that you've built to make sure that the Zoro can fit in? Go on. Oh, and your your dropping components on. Yes, the I should have emptied my inventory before. See the I did bumblebee. That. What? Do you want to see the bumblebee? Is it uh, this flying yellow thing? That yes. Comes? Where, where is it? Where is it's it? It's in the air. Where? Where? Have no <laughs> beacon. Uh, can you see where I am? Uh, I'm looking for you. Uh, it's um, flying off into the distance. Oh shit! But where, where is it? <laughs> uh, it's I can't going see you, southwest. Oh, I can see top the indigo. Can oh you, yeah, oh, no, I can, can see it. It's got me? lights. <laughs> yes, it's got lights. <laughs> Who's controlling it? <laughs> no one. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, um, oh no. Rev. Oh, God, forever then. Oh no. Uh, oh, what's going? I... What's, what's gliding off into the distance? Uh, I was going around it because I thought it was someone and just hadn't said. Oh. Uh, uh, what, what went off into the distance? Oh, RCX is. Oh, I I'm, found it. I found it. I found it. There we go. Okay. Do you want to figure out how to, how to uh, get it to do something useful because uh, it was not responding to it? <laughs> and I gave it. Hmm. The um, cargo in the Zorro is going down quite rapidly. Ah. Okay. Is that a good thing? Uh, it's mainly nickel being assembled into motors. Yes. Do you remember <laughs> we had a nickel shortage? Yes, but we did actually mine some nickel ore, so. There's also 34 and a half tons of scrap metal in the Zorro that probably should be in the Duke Duke. I noticed an enormous amount of oh, scrap metal yeah, just I'm... turning up when I did things. <laughs> yeah, like... You yeah, explained to him, darling. We discussed this last time, didn't we? <laughs> a better way of dealing with this whole large grid order sector thing. Is it clanging? It's just the ship is just drives off somewhere because it doesn't understand where its own center of mass is. Every time I every time I try to park it. I mean, landing gears, you know, do resolve the issue. It was just I, one moment I was working on the ship and then I turned around and it was gone. <laughs> what what happened? It just flew away it flew into away. the distance. It made rev ship made a break for freedom. <laughs> It was tired uh, of its, of its oh, Is it the ship that's just uh, flown past me over? Yes. Uh, you know what I've bloody done? Don't you? I've lost it again. <laughs> okay, I GPSed it and everything. I was like, slash GPS. Oh. Oh, I didn't GPS it. I did a mic. Uh, yes. I, I thought, I, I noticed that you'd done it. I thought that you had it's noticed okay. that you had done it. And, I have like, found yeah. it. I have found it. I will work on making a uh, actual uh, right-click mining ship. Aha. Well, I can come and mine some look. more with the um, the elephant. I was uh, kind of waiting for you to get your guides sorted out. Uh, well, the guides are present. I'm correct. Yeah, but are they correct? Uh, I expect so. 
Uh, no, that's the kind of answer I didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> I have what's the answer with to like... an experimental error? Uh, at the moment, they're like good for just getting like you know, getting things roughly flat and about the right height. I have not decided that the width is correct. Okay, would you like me to just measure the correct width for you? The width I was more thinking would be chosen or limited by aesthetic uh, preferences as opposed to um, like the width of the Zorro. Uh, we are out of nickel again, actually. Really? More to the point, yeah. This is what I... It was 2k nickel, it's not very much. <laughs> would you like me to dig you some nickel out of the pit that's underneath? The yes, so that would two. be handy. Yeah, which is sort of what I meant to do at the start of the last session, but <laughs> you, you weren't so in favour of it then. Um, okay, so the, the Zorro is 21 large blocks wide. Lucky Zorro. Uh, well, I have not actually put out the full width of the thing because that would be like. A needed a bit more drilling in the area, uh, and B didn't seem to be the main thing to focus on at the moment. But like, that's the main thing that's stopping me. What? From what? <laughs> From just coming and drilling it out some more. Just go and drill, like, you will have enough to drill. <laughs> Without having the full plan of the exacting detail of where everything is going. Fine, I'm going to write down the dimensions. So you you were tasked with drawing up the plan, but you decided it's not necessary to have a plan. I like. I think there's enough to make a start. This is our exactly plan. right. <laughs> sure, I know. Yeah. I, unless I'm just, unless I'm the just drill is exactly uh, twenty-one wide or whatever it was. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen high. Uh, I would make it like a block, at least a block on each side, for my peace of mind. Uh, I, I suspect it is more than that at the moment. Yeah, but what about the width? The width is almost certainly sufficient. You, I would actually probably make it wider than the current guide suggests on the right hand side. Well, how uh, can I make it wider than the guide? Uh, like, I can't drill through the blocks, can I? You don't need to drill through the blocks in order to make it wider. I think we're all enjoying like this. The, uh, you you uh, overestimate substantially the degree to which I have put in a framework. What is this? How is this supposed to be a drilling guide? <sighs> hmm. Okay, I'm just going to drill some of this uh, iron then. Uh, where's the ejection system? There. Uh, also, I'm still sinking. How, uh, what is the uh, status of the bumblebee? The bumblebee? You want to see it? Well, I can't, I can't fix it, it now because we need some more nickel first. Anyone want to fly uh, with me in the porter to get some nickel? There's tons <laughs> of nickel in the, in the Duke Duke. No, there isn't. We've run out. No, of it. it's all been used oh, up. Really? Because there was loads. I yeah. took, I took a little bit. Two K is nothing. Like you forget that the uh, uh, what was that ship? What what have oh. you called that ship? Ed? The Heaney Mobile. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it has encountered oh. the ground a few times and therefore needs feeding with vast quantities of nickel. <laughs> <laughs> he eats it, you know. Would anyone like to donate uh, some nickel or motors to the making a drill project? Can, can I propose that Heaney donates the nickel since yeah. he's the main consumer of nickel? And coincidentally, has nothing else to do while his ship is broken and <laughs> waiting for supplies. <laughs> Mr. Healy, we'd like to ride with me in the porter to obtain Hold on, some hold nickel. on. I'm trying to reposition this thruster. The number of failed mining ships is making Mike's ice mining attempt look good, but it's starting to sound like a broken record. Join us next time as Rev tries to exorcise Clang from the Bumblebee and RCX starts his own mining ship. <laughs>